What's up guys, I'm the Disney Critique, and in this vlog I'll do two Loud House reviews for catch up. I'll get to that loud later, because it's the big one, and I'm kind of afraid that if If it, if this episode is executed badly, like, really badly, it could suffer from seasonal rot. Which, unfortunately, Pierre Storm is actually kind of afraid. If it goes under that. And with all this, uh, terrible news that's happened, uh, uh it's just really freaking devastating, guys. But, don't matter, cuz, we're gonna talk about two Live House episodes, talk, starting with Rita. No, it's no spoilers. Okay, so in this episode, Lenny is pretty much... She pretty much spoils everyone's birthday party. And this one, she does her best to not spoil mom's party. There were, like, quite a few things I liked, such as the funny gags. And probably Lincoln as the dress guy. Some creative moments, and the ending was really sweet. And it proved that Lenny is actually a useful tool instead of a useless tool. At times. As a Lenny centered episode, it's quite funny. And the ending is also kind of funny as well. Even though she kind of ruined the surprise for Dad. So yeah, no spoilers, good episode. Read aloud, this episode, I don't know, it actually speaks to me in a way. With the lesson about reading. So in this episode, the Loud family basically reads so many books for the reading competition to get into a parody of Chuck E. Cheese. I said parody because it looks pretty similar to Chuck E. Cheese. Anyway, Lola doesn't want to read because she knows a lot of things without it. Quite going to the point where she indirectly says that a book and the movie are the same, except the movie has pictures. And now we get to this bullshit sequence. Where Apparently, every single member of the family has to participate in order to win that prize. There's still time, and Lincoln helps Lola, actually helps Lola to read. Thus, 
Securing the family uh, trip to Chuck E. Cheese parody. But the time was over. And this is where it ticks me off. They blame it on Lincoln. Yes, Lincoln. Why can't they blame it on Lola? For having to raid earlier. I mean, Lincoln. He did a good job. So why are you putting the blame on him? I mean, it worked in Sleuther Consequences. Mine are unpopular opinion alert. But in this episode, it doesn't work here. But hey, that's just a small blemish to a good episode. That's probably the most inconsistent of the series. But still good. I mean, at the end, Lola actually learned her lesson and actually learned that reading can help you learn new things and explore to new worlds. So yeah, I really like the moral there. It's a good episode. And as for grades for both the episodes, both of them would get a B. And speaking about read aloud, if you're a parent who's watching this, and if you have a four to eight year old, you should strongly encourage them to check out this 2000s show Between the Lions. It's basically a children's show that basically promotes literacy. It is funded by a cooperative agreement with the U.S. Department of Education through the Corporation of Public Broadcasting's Ready to Learn grant, with additional support coming from the Brooksdale Reading Institute and Chick-fil-A. Unfortunately, the series isn't on iTunes yet, but you can check out episodes on YouTube and Daily Motion, select episodes only. All of the episodes are available. And you can play games based on that show at pbskids.org. Or you can Google PBS Kids. And if that show doesn't work for you, then take them to your local library and have children explore a plethora of books for them to get wild about reading. I know this afterwards speech doesn't really make any sense when tying the Loud House episode, but it does with Read Loud because it basically implies a strong message about reading. And honestly, I agree. Even if reading's not my strong suit, I'm more of a math and science guy. Yep. And so, this is the Disney Critique, signing off. And when I close this vlog, I'll be doing the next one really soon for Not Allowed. I'm just really, really, really nervous. It's just all the tensions building up on me. And you can just let it out when I just see the episode. See so ya. Yeah, stay tuned, folks.